<laughs> uh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> Anyway, uh, this is Smoke Concessions. I'm Jason Nova. This is a uh, guy over here. He's uh, fucking dog shit. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to another Smoke Concession. I'm your host, Crazy Rocky, here with Jason Nova. Today, eh. we are doing another OnlyFans review. Now, I want to thank a certain OnlyFans creator, Big Titty Goth Egg. Thank you so much for sharing <coughs> our video over on Twitter. Um, I know we already invited you over on Twitter, but if you ever did uh, want to do an interview, we would love to chat with you, ask you some stuff about your experience in the industry. But regardless, thank you so much. And also thank you to all the new people that are here on the channel. Um, you guys gave a lot of support to that OnlyFans review. Appreciate um, it. And we, yeah, we really, really appreciate it. So without further ado, we figured we'd give you guys some more OnlyFans review content. Content. Um, today we are going to be reviewing Natasha Noel's OnlyFans. Uh, Natasha is somebody that I've been following on TikTok for a while because she started blowing up with literally like facing the camera and then clapping her ass. <laughs> that was what she like first popped off with. She started going viral. She did this whole she thing. She did where a whole uh, 180. What was or that? 360. What was she did a 360? Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, she started on TikTok and then uh, clapped oh, her kind ass. Of. Well, most people do that. Most yeah. people will yeah, yeah, start I on TikTok that. and go. Well, I because that. it's a good way to move people over there. And if you're comfortable <coughs> with it and you have the audience that would be willing to pay for it as of age, then, I mean, I mean, it's an easy way to make bank. It's not going to be long before uh, there's a generation where everybody has a porn date. Yeah, no, 100%. I really do have an, I really do think, like, in the future it's going to go more towards everybody is either in some sort of, I, like, ideas industry, whether it's either, like, creative <coughs> arts or, like, porn, whatever it might be. And then we're just going to have varying levels <coughs> of those, like, creators. We're just going to have, like, small, like, be people at the bottom class, which maybe, like, they do, like, we have a bunch of people who do porn and YouTube videos on that, but they get, like, the littlest amount of views, so they only make, like, the smallest amount of money. Yeah. And then it goes yeah. on up to the more viewed you are, the more money you get. And it <coughs> creates a whole new class system, which would be horrifying. It sounds terrible. Yeah. Yeah. And now, um... So that's our futuristic uh, horror movie. Thank you, Cronenberg. So what we're going to do here okay. is uh, we're going to react to Natasha's video. The reason I brought up, though, the whole TikTok thing is, like... She did a very a, a lot of these people do very good jobs. I thought she, uh, because it's in China though, uh, the people were getting banned. Has that changed now? Wait, what was that? I thought if you uh, well, so I thought if you did OnlyFans and you uh, the, the people at TikTok, TikTok would ban you. No, it's only if you promote your OnlyFans in your bio. Was the first thing. Then the yeah. second thing was people would put a link tree. And in the link tree, had it linked oh. over to your OnlyFans. So they're just at first that wasn't can't be any mention of it. Yeah, you literally can't mention it. And at first, like I guess you you can kind of in a, the most roundabout way possible. You can be like, so now what they'll do is they'll say, go to my Twitter. That's why Twitter is now the main thing. You'll see a lot of these girls have four hundred thousand to six hundred thousand followers on Twitter. Yeah. Because when you go to their their um you know TikTok page, you can go over to their Instagram or their Twitter directly. And then if you go over to their Instagram, they'll always have their Twitter in their bio. Because ultimately, also on Instagram, you can't link off to OnlyFans either, or YouTube, or pretty much any site. <laughs> yeah, I know. Instagram's uh, the uh, easiest to get banned on. Yeah, exactly. And so basically, all of these women <coughs> had to move over, of course, to Twitter and only to, in order to promote their stuff. Yeah, Twitter's pretty, uh, like, just open. They're like, yeah, we don't Oh, absolutely. Fuck. That's why Twitter has always been based. So, but anyway, to get back uh, to the point, what I was attempting to say is that so these women will have to go in the most roundabout way possible to promote their OnlyFans because they can't put it in their bio. They can't really say it at all in their like TikTok mentions. You can what they'll say is like I'm. There's this joke going that's been in the TikTok community <coughs> for a while yeah. where there was a song by this person named Aisha something, and it's uh, about them being an accountant, but really that's just like they're a stripper. <coughs> and when anybody asks them what they do for a job, they just say that they're an accountant. Okay. And so it became that they're accountants. If you say you're an accountant, that means you're an, a sex worker. Oh. Uh, and then it became like... Oh, it's like the mafia. Like, I'm in the meatpacking yeah, industry. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's exactly right, Jason. And then what happened is like people didn't understand that, right? People would be like, what do you mean like you're an accountant? And then they started saying, I'm a spicy accountant. So basically it's... Oh, no, you gave it away now. It used to be spicy white meant like you're a white guy who has like some black features. So then for some reason the term spicy just became a signifier of something else. 
and then they tacked it onto accountant. So now they're called spicy accounts. Ooh. So that's how they'll promote it in their in their like actual description of their TikToks. And then other than that, before people didn't post to Twitter as much because obviously you don't get paid on Twitter at all. However, now that's where they'll go. They'll put their clips. They'll have to link to their OnlyFans, and it seems to be. Uh, an annoying way to have to promote it. Yeah, it's, it it's a lot. It yeah, it is a lot. But it works at the end of the day. Essentially, one thing that I uh, did see that caught my interest was uh, every tic uh, TikTok creator slash OnlyFans creator has a different way of promoting their stuff. So one of the ways that she did this was she would not show her backside when she was clapping her ass on TikTok. She would just have the front angle. So people would say that they didn't believe it was actually her. They would say like, oh, you're editing the sound over or something like that. And so they'd always be like backside view or something like that. They always <coughs> ask for that. So what she would do is she would always just say, go check Twitter. And so then people would be pushed to Twitter, and then they'd be pushed over to the OnlyFans, right? So it, it, she found a way that was really intriguing for her to promote herself, because also being able to clap her ass seemed to be like a trend on TikTok for a moment there. Like yeah. all these women were going out trying to do it. So definitely, is it I always, back? I don't know. I hope so. Um, anyway, the uh, I, I enjoy the different ways that these uh, creators will find to promote themselves, especially with, again, how harsh these fucking social media companies will treat these people. But further than that, um, she's also a member of, like, kind of this group of a larger, like, a larger group that I kind of talked to you about that does OnlyFans and TikTok, and they kind of get together, collab, do these different things. Um, and it's a really interesting community to take a look at so from here we're probably gonna do natasha we have another person that we already have in mind that i think interacts somewhat with that group and then we're probably gonna go around and look at a couple other members from that group just so we can get a more full idea um but regard because i think that whole tiktok culture is kind of interesting besides that though now let's go ahead and get into the meat of this video let's talk about natasha noel's only fan page so if we go here we uh paid i think it was five dollars and sixty cents for 30 days i okay it is it's on sale right now typically eight dollars a month still even off yeah. sale that's pretty low that's pretty low well, um, i i have noticed like most of the time uh the uh it's on sale it's a it's a good yeah. sales tactic though no absolutely well that's obviously <coughs> like what a lot of uh in a way that's what black friday things are a lot of times like they'll jack up the prices and then say it's yeah, on it's, sale. it's yeah. the same price uh even yep. the day before black friday yeah literally they just say it's on sale and they say the original price was higher than what it is there yeah and exactly. that's what things like wish they'll do that all the time they'll be like this is a 500 hundred dollar product it's like bro that shit is 20 dollars. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about um but regardless it's a great marketing strategy again like you mentioned and uh, it's so interesting to see how much like business minded you have to be when you do these only fans like fair things it's not yeah. that easy to get people over because there's so many people vying for attention <coughs> and doing only fans at this point that it, it, it's hard to stand out um but so generally let's see here let's read the description your online girlfriend top point two percent lewds nudes and video previews on my feed full naughty videos are sent in the dms i always post new content daily so be on the lookout for all my new videos slash pics if that's true then that is uh, like a lot more uh, upload pace than a lot of other creators have a yeah lot of creators do like once a week twice a week maybe um so let's see uh, da -da -da, boy girl videos, solo videos, custom requests, rating my uh, ratings in my pinned post on my profile. I almost had a heart attack there. <laughs> uh, disclaimer: the copyright material, and then it's just a DMCA disclaimer. So, okay. Oh, she has a Twitch. Yeah, Twitch, TikTok, and Twitter. Hold on, I'm just, I'm not gonna look at this too much. I'm just curious how many followers there. Six point three k. That's actually good. solid. Good for you. So she gets uh, donations off of Twitch, and then oh, and she, she has it from mature fans. audiences. That was interesting. I, I mean, huh. it's not there now, but yeah, I literally said like, oh, for mature audiences. Hmm, fascinating. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump on in. Oh, here we go. There's the pin one that she was talking about. Tip menu. Dick ratings, $20 for a digital dick rate, $35 for audio dick rate, $100 for video dick rate. That is expensive for dick rating, so well, I'm going to be honest here. That's so pretty, pretty high. is an audio dick rate, is, do you just, just take a talks. microphone and then you swap well, your dick against no, the microphone no, and you no, say no, write no, it? No, 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 no. You send her the picture, and if it's digital, she'll type it back <coughs> of what her rating is. If it's audio, she'll say it into like a voice memo and send it to you. And if it's a video, then she'll like take video and audio and then send it to you. Okay. Of her rating your dick. Otherwise, it would just be like written to you in a message if you do digital. Can you imagine if some uh, an OnlyFans girl sent letters? That would be interesting. That's an interesting twist on it, right? Like you can, uh, but see, see, that would be both 
great and scary because it makes it more personal. Oh, no, yeah, but you have to is, sit, yeah. You have to have, like, a background checked on these people. <laughs> so it's not, like, 100%. No, but no, no you're just, uh, the OnlyFans uh, girl, she's just sending a, a special letter. No, I know, but when, so what I was just trying to say, <coughs> like, for letters, nowadays we look at them as way more personal and intimate. Yeah. So that could cause a parasocial relationship that is somewhat dangerous. Oh, person, yeah, I get what like, you're saying, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you see. But, um, but I, it would be cool, though. It's an interesting, like, I wish people weren't weird because that actually would be an interesting twist on it. Besides the point. Yeah. Um, for all the dick ratings, send the tip for which rating you want, then send me one pic turn, uh, or picture to rate. Pa- uh, panties, $300. You can buy your panties for 300 Now, that is not one I have seen on there. Yeah. That is At that point, you can do letters. Yeah, I guess fine. so. That's yeah. fine. You can do See? letters at that point. Yeah, that's fine. And then Polaroids. Uh, panties and Polaroid wearing them, 350 <clears throat> Only $50 extra for the photos, the personalized photos. That's not bad. <laughs> okay. That's a decent deal. Okay. Um, custom videos, uh, customs range from $100 to 500 depending on what I'm doing and the length of the video. Just message me about a custom, uh, if you're ever interested in getting one, if you're ever interested in getting one. Sounds good. So, what we'll do here is we'll just go ahead and take a little bit of a look through. We're not going to do much, um, here on the, on the tip menu, um, but we're just going to take a, a look through the main page here. So, let's see here. Normal lewd picture, and then right down here, obviously, this is a lot less lewd. <laughs> yeah, um, she's got tats. Yeah, she does have tats. I've always liked her tats. They are cute. Um, That's interesting, that butterfly right there, It's though. a moth, I think. A so moth. this is a this is a. Because I've seen it. Yeah. yeah. Who, you know, you, On the back side. Like, well, also, like that, what, you know, C, um, <coughs> the Mitch the Sars of C that I used to fuck with, has that on the middle of her chest. It's not a butterfly. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah, right. as a moth. It seems to be like a trend right now um, in order to like have a moth like kind of around that area. But is it, it like is the cool barbed looking. wire back uh, back in the day? Kind of. But like, you know how they had like those? They had like, there was like a couple under the hoops. Sunfire. Fire. They had the butterfly. The fly, uh, well, butterfly? They had, so there's an, there was an under Yeah, I remember that. Never for mind. the butterfly, yeah. And so then what happened is to have a twist to it, like they changed it to moths. Like some girls changed it to moths, but mostly it was the emo girls that changed it to moths. Okay. Um, and then, but I, I love tattoos. I lo- obviously, you know, I love tattoos. He, this motherfucker got tattoos. We are tattoo fans, so that's all good. But do you, do you have a limit on tattoos that you like? Do you like, it? not obviously, like, maybe not fully tatted all the way around the face and all yeah, that Yeah, I can't. Body. I, uh, That'd be too much. But how far yeah. is, how much is too much? Like, can a girl have, like, a sleeve? Uh, yeah, yeah, girl, okay, cool. yeah. I think we all on the same page, that's fine. Okay, cool. All right, let's see here what we got. There's seven pictures here. Okay, okay, nice. All right. Oh, okay, and then we have a do have a nude picture mixed in here. That's nice. She has really pretty eyes. I like her lashes, too. What is that fucking tattoo? That's just fire. I like that. That's dope. Okay. Let's see what else. Okay, much more full body picture. Yeah. And... Okay, anal shot. Now, that is... Uh, that is Wide a open picture. for the world to see. <laughs> Amen. Hey, ooh, I like that, actually. That's fire. I like the moth down down to that. I wonder... If, at that point, there's got to go something kind of like right there. That would look sick. I don't know what though. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, I nah. like the little elephant. That's yeah, adorable. Yeah, I was gonna say the elephant. What is that too? Is that a VHS tape? No. No. It's like I. Interesting. It must be like a character or something like that. Okay. Cool. All right. So so far, I mean, already, I I expected that to just be lewd pictures for yeah. the most part. So having the full nudity and then even like up close nudity is definitely somewhat worth. While there's a lot of people, <coughs> amaranth, that don't even do that. Um, let's see here got so horny after streaming i decided to play with myself sending this video out now okay so just a uh, a thumbnail of a video let's see here. now i don't know what the prices are on the videos though. um well if she sends them out i wonder because we've been <coughs> subscribed for a couple days here we go 14 six. six that one's only six bucks that's, that's actually bad. way $8. well wow it's a li- but it's still it's way cheaper than i've seen yeah well 421 eight dollars that's not bad at all yeah usually they're like 25 yeah, 30 20, bucks but what is this one this is like the intro Oh, this is a boy-girl welcome video. Okay, yeah, so this seems to be, like, obviously the most expensive one. But for a boy-girl, those are usually the but most yeah, expensive. But, yeah, know, like, a lot of uh, other OnlyFans girls would charge 40 bucks. Oh, something. absolutely, absolutely. And especially, like, yeah. So her prices are actually price. really uh, reasonable. Oh, for sure. Yeah, um, and then, okay, so let's go ahead and head back over to her page. Let's see. Can I just click through here? Yes. All right. Let's go through. Oh, yeah, I was right here. Okay, so what are your plans this summer? Let's roll through a little bit. Okay, similar, similar. I like that, you know, I like it overall. It's definitely nice to, like, that she posts pretty often for the most part. Obviously, June 22nd. Yeah. So, like, she didn't post today, I don't think. But yesterday, the day before, etc. 
So nice. That is again way more content than you would expect from a lot of creators. Now it seems to be shot in the same ho- uh, the same house, the same room. It is the same house. Well, these two are. <coughs> well, let's see. This one was like similar or like right back to back to the other ones. So it could always be like the same photo shoot too, for the most part. Yeah. But I'd imagine you upload ever like try to get as much out every day as possible. You're probably gonna be doing it in a similar house or the same house each time. But like here's like obviously a different shot and whatnot. And then she had the sunflower on her upper back. Oh, did she? Hold on, let me peek. Where was it? I think it was Next either one. the sun or a sun. Oh, oh, it was a... Yeah, no, that's the... Um, fuck, that's a sun. But I can't remember what it's from. I think. Or is it... No, it's an empty sunflower, isn't it? I no, think, it's uh, a sun. No, it's a sun. It's a sun. It's a sun. I'm, I'm going with sun. I'm going with sun. <laughs> yeah, I think it might be We're a zodiac going thing. With sun, it's a zodiac. I'm pretty sure it's a zodiac thing. I think. I think. I don't know. Um, okay. Watch me fuck myself with this huge dildo. Okay, well, let's see how long this clip is. Probably not long. Three seconds. Okay, cool. Well, I mean, it's enough to show you, obviously, what you're going to get. And you know what? A lot of people will, like, mute the audio, too, like, or things like that. That's multiple yeah, I've things seen that I've too. Seen. So, like, you know, having the audio there, I've always said, is a better thing than not. Um, and I want to make sure that we're still good over here. Okay, let me go just bring the camera down a little bit. <coughs> there we go. You know what would be interesting? What? Is to sit there and give uh, the video out. To uh, like anyone who uh, subscribes to your OnlyFans, right? Okay. Let's say like uh, she released a a video, uh, five minutes long. It's a boy girl scene, For sure. and then but you use a a, a Gaussian or Glaussian blur yeah, gotcha. on the actual scene, and then you put it at like eighty. Would you give that version to the people who subscribe to you for free? And yes. then you make the uncensored version, the one that's well, worth this point. Well, you see, I thought this too, kind of, like, and I don't know, maybe this is what you're getting at. When you say I picture more of a wide blur, <coughs> like, for the, either, like, close to the full screen or almost full screen, I've always thought, do it the Japanese way, where you censor Oh, the yeah, fucking, yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, you censor the actual, like, intercourse itself, and you can also, like, some of them will censor, like, the nipples or whatever of, a, of the woman, but even if you don't do that, even if you don't censor the nipples, you can just, like, censor the actual, like, intercourse, and then most people... People will pay to get that blur removed. Yeah. So even if you and not the full video, but you can do a couple minutes of like a ten minute video. Yeah, absolutely. And then just have that blur through the whole thing, and then that's a. Way and then people clip. feel like, oh, I'm getting more content. I know I'm uh, like paying, uh, not paying for it. Or it's free or whatever. Yeah, it's, well, it's not free because obviously you still have to do the original thing. Or maybe like, you or you could do that. Week, or you could even do that, right? Hey, I'm gonna. If you want to sit there and get uh, the uncensored versions, all you have to do is subscribe to my OnlyFans. Yeah, I think that would be a little because that then you unless they're premium well, you videos, you, you can have, still do like, premium videos. Do you mean that you would have like this one that's paid for, but it's like five sixty, and that one's censored, and then you have a separate one that's like twenty or twenty five a month that's uncensored, or what? Yeah, what so it? like, uh, let's say for her, right? There, there's the free version, and uh, the do photos it? and everything are perfectly fine. Okay. Like they're uncensored. But the videos themselves, and this is the free version, uh-huh. are you all with the uh, the blur effect? Okay. And, and, and when then, you say free, do you mean there's no pay entrance at all? Like it's not behind any paywall? No pay entrance. You at all. should definitely have it behind a paywall. Like you should. I think what. But you then you do, have your paywall one, and then no, but like because they already. I think because they already kind of have that. But then you're giving too much content away on the one that's free. I've right, seen like, other porn stars have free versions of this. Yes, that. they do. However, well, Mrs. Robinson, right? She has. So that's what I'm trying to get at. You should do a Mrs. Robinson type thing where you have maybe 15 to 30 seconds at most of it. And yes, it's blurred. And maybe even not just like for that part, not just the intercourse blurred. It should be more fully blurred. But that's a thing that OnlyFans creators kind of already do. But you're kind of just saying like, re- like add more content and reduce the amount that yeah. they can't see. You know the that's other... not a good idea. No, okay. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty yeah. stupid. But, but Business-wise, it's dumb. I think yeah. that you're smart. I think you're onto something, though. Because what you can do is you can have maybe a free one where you do that, that type of thing, right? Then you have your cheap one that's like five bucks a month, right? That one is censored only for the actual intercourse of it. And instead, like you only get maybe 20 to 25% of the full video. So if the video is like 20 minutes, you get at most five minutes, but probably maybe like three minutes of it overall. Yeah. And so then you have a $20 one or maybe a $25 one even that's totally uncensored. Everything is not behind a paywall. Yeah, Bell Delphine is around what? Yep, uh, 35 yeah, so... Yep. And so yeah. that way you have that one, they can go there, and then 
But you, you still charge to. for all her videos. Well, and, so you uh, can charge for the individual <clears throat> videos still if you'd like. But I think at that point, like, that would be a better way, in my opinion, than doing it with individual videos. Because yeah. people are less likely to buy individual videos. They are way more likely to buy an OnlyFans subscription. Because when you look at your, your profit when you're buying a video, all you get is access to that one video. But if you're accessing an OnlyFans page, you access a service with far more things than just paying for that single video. Yeah. So the person and feels like they're getting more of a product and so therefore they're more willing to pay that $25 fee. Yeah, no, absolutely. That would um, actually be pretty good. I like there really is the Hulu that. free version of the Hulu. Yeah, where you do advertisements and shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and then you could do less ads. And like, the ads are so much. fucking annoying to the, and you're like, I'll pay the eight well, bucks. Yeah, also, they put so many ads on there too that it fucking well, yeah, it's a, And, and YouTube like, does it deliberately too. That's for why sure. they try to get you to use premium. Oh, well, I love YouTube premium. It's one of the best things. Uh, you know, for me, YouTube premium, not even the ads. It's the fact that if you're using your phone, you can't put it in standby mode and listen to music or do whatever you're doing. Or like yeah. I can't close my my flip and listen to whatever video I'm listening to if I don't have YouTube Red. Because when you go on standby mode, it automatically shuts off the audio. And that, that I cannot live with. Uh, I won't talk about this very long. There's a TikTok creator. He's an African-American dude. I can't remember his name off top, but he was like a top um, porn star. And then he has like a giant fucking cock. And he goes <laughs> through and he tells like stories of his experience in the business and like how it is to do like gang bangs on bitches and all this other shit. Like it's, and he has a, it's like a really interesting TikTok that he has. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but back to this. So that that would be an interesting idea. But I think um, overall, um, uh, the, for the amount again, the amount of content that's like put out here is great. Like I think that like for oh, the quality of it is good too. Like I, I don't mind it overall. I think that getting um, I, I, hold on, let me let's scroll down like a little farther because it's probably going to be mostly. See, even though it's in the same house, I do appreciate yeah. that she tries to like switch up the background as much as possible. Yeah. Also, this looks sick. Let's do some stretching together. I is this what, like, I fuck with this cosplay, whatever this is. That's an outfit. No, it's just a video. No, it's just it's just a it's just an outfit. I just figured it might be because of, like the whole painting in the background and everything. She might be going for some plus the contacts. But let's see. Oh yeah, no, I like see. I like this too. She has a beautiful smile. She's cute. Um, yeah, no, I think that like I appreciate that she does try to switch it up as much as possible. I think maybe I don't know what camera she uses, but like I think there could be a little bit of a, a level of higher quality when it comes to the picture itself whether it be the framing or the actual like quality in general when it comes to the aperture things like <coughs> that when you're all talking about the specifics of like a pro like camera a dad what's it called dslr camera for example yeah yeah um i think that adding that or maybe even getting like a photographer videographer to help with this situation could be good especially if you're making decent money off of it like just having that little boost by having somebody else who can set up the framing for you make sure it's all good and if you don't have any men that you're comfortable doing it with you can always have like a female friend or a female uh, you know acquaintance do yeah because i wouldn't uh you don't think i do you think this is done from like a phone camera i don't see i don't necessarily think so because this picture for example looks extremely clear and I, like oh the it's just the lighting is off the lighting exactly so the lighting is off the framing is a little uh, a little different than i would expect with the pro dslr camera and the resolution is clear but it almost does feel like it's digitalized resolution where it's like filling in for the gaps on an iphone camera digitally yeah. rather than like you know a, a professional camera the but, other, and the other thing too i would say is um, if possible, I would try to get, like, uh, the LED lights, try to change up the scenes a little bit. Yeah, no, that's, yeah, that's, like, yeah, like I mentioned, like, I appreciate that she does try to, like, do the background change. Yeah, yeah, I do, too, I think, yeah. though, also, though, if you're going to have to use the same background all the time or something like that, maybe uploading less regularly would be better. Right? No, like, yeah. Not, you don't have to upload every day. Yeah, big, di uh, big titty gothic. Like yeah. she doesn't uh, upload all every day or anything. Yeah, quantity, uh, quality over quantity. And <clears throat> I'm not saying that this isn't quality, but because I definitely appreciate that she does give a lot out, a yeah. lot more than other creators, and she does allow people to see a lot more than other creators. Yeah. And so that is all really good, and the price is really good. So yeah. all of it does add up together, but it's there's just something that feels like it's just slightly missing where it could be a little better on the like actual like creativity side of it maybe like maybe try yeah. it again like the background switch it up a little more the the shots maybe try to get a little more like artsy with it i suppose you could say or again have somebody come in that maybe is a videographer photographer have them help you out with it because i think that that changes the game for everybody like if you are somebody who's in content creation and you don't have somebody that is like a pro 
with a camera, like getting that person in there, even in audio too, both of those things, right? But for obviously OnlyFans, it's not nearly as important, but if you're like a podcaster and you'd make YouTube videos, having somebody to do those things is a game changer for your content and for oh, yeah, people watch your content. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it makes it far more professional when yeah, you do that. Yeah, makes it far more engaging, makes it look, it also, for people, <laughs> if you are similar to me uh, in like a creative sense where you don't necessarily like your own content or re-engaging with your own content, when you have a level of professionalism or attached to your project, it can almost feel like it's dissociated from you to a certain degree yeah like when my songs for example are like we're fully fully mixed and all this other stuff it's like i know that's my voice but there's almost like a like i i'm not me in that space and time when i exactly when i was writing that song so there's enough differentiation to where it doesn't necessarily like bother me as much and so if you're somebody who's hypercritical is what i'm trying to say uh, of yeah yourself, which a lot of people someone, are especially nowadays exactly having and especially if you're in this type of career right like, yeah i imagine it would be hard to not listen to some of the people that are hyper negative about you so like if you're if you're really negative about yourself and or, or, or anything like that i'm not saying that obviously she is but i'm saying for anybody who's a creator having somebody else that can sit there and help somewhat take over your content or not take over in that sense but like help you with it um tell you hey maybe you're tripping that you're thinking about this wrong you're looking at it wrong having that to help you is always like a, a great advantage no matter who the fuck you are yeah because you always are going to like think the worst of your own projects for the most part because you always think that it can be better so it's like well i'm just gonna keep working on it i'm gonna keep working on it. keep working on it. and sooner or later somebody has to come over slap the shit out of you and tell you no you're just gonna do it and it's good. You need to stop tripping. You're not yeah. bad at this. Even Kanye West has this issue. Exactly. 100%. So having the right people there is what I was saying. But that's besides the point. I think that, the, again, the quality could be done uh, done up a little. But overall, I enjoy it quite a bit. Um, I think that, like, she's really cute. Um, she overall, I prefer a fat ass with a, a you know, smaller <laughs> breast. So her body type is exactly what I would enjoy. Um, I enjoy, like, the tattoos again. I think her tattoos she's, are uh, She's good at posing. Yeah, no, she is very good at posing. Like, I, I think this is actually a pretty decent shot. Like, I like the color of the the on the black background. It's pretty um, cool, and I don't mean to the pussy. Um, but essentially, uh, yeah. And the one uh, thing that she uh, seems to nice do that uh, she seems to do the big titty golf thing didn't was uh, make noise. Oh, that is a big thing. There are there are, does seem to be a subsection of OnlyFans women that do content that don't like make any noise at all or make very minimal noise and for a lot of guys it is extremely important to hear a girl make noise in order for them to be fully turned on now not everybody's like that yeah some people true. even have kinks that are the opposite right where they don't want to hear anything <laughs> that's their kink but like having that i don't want to hear uh, me giving you pleasure yeah but exactly <laughs> it's weird it's a dominant thing but those people can can mute it theoretically right yeah if you don't have the audio there we can't unmute it <laughs> so it's yeah. not there so um that's one important thing that definitely she hits um and yeah i mean again the content output is quite a bit um i think that also too though again on oh she had blonde hair oh okay cool i think over on oh, the other thing too is over on only fans she promotes more via her like you know like her ass <laughs> sorry so having a little bit more emphasis on that too might be good since that's what she you know obviously promoted through only fans but that's why she does pictures like this <laughs> yeah one thing i will say is it's a good price to subscribe absolutely um and then like the videos are i mean compared to what uh, other prices i've seen oh uh, yeah the, for especially for boy girl scenes like yeah boy girl scenes can get up to i've seen people charge up to 100 because that's the max i believe yeah. it is worth in my opinion if you're attracted to her if you're in, oh here we go here's a boy girl shot um but if you are uh you know attracted to her her type of body etc um then it's obviously gonna be for you i think that overall the again the amount of quant uh, content that she gets out there is way more than other people and i do appreciate that too yeah extent. absolutely for especially for the price. yeah for five dollars and sixty cents it's really good so overall i would have to rate um like about probably a seven i would say that if she gets like a uh, camera person to help her out with maybe you know does a, a couple different framing techniques things like that to just up her quality a little bit i think she's absolutely on the right path completely the price is amazing everything else is good her advertising is good all that is great um especially like again i mean she even has it on sale from the eight dollars right and even eight dollars yeah is a pretty decent price yeah even if it's content. not sale jesus yeah and but that sales uh tactic is, is definitely a good one and so she's definitely very business minded and i think that little like tactic that we mentioned earlier could be useful for any budding only fans creators out there if you want to give it a shot go for it um 
but but yeah, I would rate it a seven, and I would say uh, definitely worth. But again, yeah, there's some stuff that could I think easily pretty much be improved because I, I do think she has quite. It seems that like like 167 thousand likes, for example, on her stuff. Yeah, so, it's pretty good you know, engagement. That's, she's getting she's you know probably making a good bit of cash off of this, and, and yeah. good for her. I mean, good shit. Um, but yeah, so do, what would your rating be? Uh, seven point two five. Okay, um. very, specific. <laughs> very specific. I feel it though. Uh, like uh, so yeah, like uh, try to see if you can get somebody who can uh, who kind of knows photography a little bit, or even if you do, like uh, get a friend to like, hey, yeah. this is why I need you to set up and uh, grab a DSLR be, yeah. camera instead of making you know, an iPhone. Um, using an iPhone. But uh. Yeah, I think more professional shots. Um, I th- think changing up the color of the scenes a little bit would be kind of uh, cool. Um, it, like uh, the amount, the prices, and the co- amounts of content that you get is insane. To me, like uh, she's giving out a lot, uh, maybe a lot of photos in that, but mm-hmm. it's a lot of photos. Yeah, and, and also they're not all just lewds. There are yeah. lewds mixed in with full nudes, with uploads. Like she goes all the way with it. Yeah, absolutely. And a lot of creators do not. A lot of creators when they post photos, they only post like clothed photos or like maybe like you know bikini photos but a lot of yeah. them just post regular photos from instagram yeah and then uh the boy girl scene was 20 bucks or something yeah, and then not bad. And i that's mean that's not a bad price video too so that's obviously going to be one of the most you know probably more expensive ones because it's her introduction video so i think uh overall that kind of covers it i hope we worded ourselves properly in a way that can be useful for you know if natasha sees this um or anybody else that is doing only fans starting only fans etc um and then yeah i hope that if you are looking at purchasing her page i hope this gives you a little bit more info on whether you should or not um again that's up to your interpretation do not go buy it for a month yeah, it's only five dollars and sixty cents absolutely and if you go to reddit or any other leak sites you're a fucking bitch and we do not respect you. Okay, that's all I'm saying. How many times in a given month would you jack off to her page? <laughs> 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 oh, Calculate yeah. those Please. loads and say to yourself, how many loads per dollar is that? Yes, exactly. Is it worth it? Yeah. And if Why? you say, and then if, and that's literally your DNA, right? You're literally ex- <clears throat> excreting your DNA. So therefore, yeah. are you saying that you're not worth anything? I wonder I what she, so. uh, what the last name Noel. I want. She, I wonder what uh, type of stuff she does for uh, Christmas and the holidays. Uh, I, I amazing things. I would imagine very fun things. <laughs> All right. Well, again, um, also um, Natasha, if you ever uh, did. Uh do interviews over here at smoking sessions if you'd ever be interested uh we'd love to chat with you see what your experience in the industry and especially with tiktok has been because tiktok absolutely yeah. fucks over these creators but regardless thank you guys for joining us during this smoking yeah, session yeah. if you did enjoy please press the like and subscribe button um you can see our uh, twitter and instagram that'll pop up during the outro uh you can also follow us on all other social medias down in the description below um and yeah just let us know what you thought anything else uh, I would give it a buy, Natasha Noel's uh, page. Yes, I give it a buy. It is only five dollars and sixty cents. That's a really good deal. It really is. It's a really good deal. Now buy. Okay. Hey, we're we're on a streak. Yeah, yeah. Not sponsored by. I yeah, this bit sounds like we're sponsored by her now. <laughs> we're not. We have we not have been not paid sponsored by or anybody. sponsored by anybody. This is I all am I sponsored by Nike. I am sponsored by <laughs> by Jesus himself. Open up a new